My name is Radi Haidar, and I'm a transplant infectious diseases doctor here at the University of Pittsburgh and at UPMC. I'd like to tell you about a voluntary research study we have at UPMC, which is called the COVID-19 Vaccine in the Immunocompromised Study, or COVIX. This is a study being paid for by UPMC, and over the next two years, we may include up to 2,000 patients. COVIX is part of a larger research program meant to study how well patients respond to the vaccines for COVID-19. In this research study, we are evaluating whether people who are immunocompromised or have weak immune systems are able to produce an immune response after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. We will do this by getting a blood sample from you to measure the levels of antibodies that your body has created after receiving the vaccine. We would like to enroll patients who are immunocompromised and compare their immune responses to people who are not immunocompromised. COVID-19 vaccines are probably the best way to protect us from getting COVID-19. In the COVID-19 vaccine trials, most patients who received the vaccine were protected against COVID-19. Some patients who received the COVID-19 vaccine did become sick with the COVID-19 virus, or SARS-CoV-2, but only had very mild infections. However, patients with weak immune systems were not included in these vaccine studies, so we do not know if the COVID-19 vaccines will work as well for them. This research study is called an observational study, meaning that you won't be receiving anything as part of the study, such as medicine or treatment. The study involves drawing blood from you to measure your antibodies. The amount of blood drawn is less than one tablespoon each time. The blood can be drawn at any UPMC lab and can be taken alone or at the same time as other blood work you might be having done during a clinic visit. For all the blood draws, if you already have an intravenous or IV line or a port, we will try to use that line to draw the blood. You will not be responsible for any out-of-pocket charges. So when will we be drawing the blood samples? If you have already received the vaccine, the first blood sample will be drawn at least one week after your second or only dose, depending on which vaccine you have received. We will then run the sample in a UPMC lab to see if you developed antibodies to the COVID-19 virus. Your results will be available in your medical record, meaning that you will know what this result is. We will then test the rest of your blood in our research labs for other signs of COVID-19 immunity. Please note that if you are joining this study as an immunocompetent patient or as a healthcare worker, your antibody result may not actually end up being in your chart. If your sample shows that you have developed antibodies, we may contact you to provide more samples at month one, three, six, and 12 after your first vaccine. This will let us look at how long your antibodies last and how they may change over time. These results will not be part of your medical record. If you have not yet received your vaccine but are planning on doing so, we may collect your first blood sample before your first dose, then after your first or only dose, and at months one, three, six, and 12. So in total, we may get blood from you up to five times over a year. However, please remember that all this is voluntary. While studying blood from you over the span of 12 months will help us understand how the immune response to COVID-19 vaccines changes over time, if you choose to no longer be part of the study after you learn your first antibody result, that is completely fine and totally up to you. You can let us know, as I will explain later. Now, what will we do with the blood when we have it? As we mentioned before, we will look at the antibodies you may have developed against the COVID-19 virus. Blood may be tested to look at how antibody and other immune responses change after getting your vaccine and may be used for studies on COVID-19 and the immune system by researchers here at the University of Pittsburgh and with collaborators outside of Pitt without additional informed consent from you. Analysis of these samples may include genetic testing, but we will not enter any genetic information into your medical records. Aside from the first antibody test result, which will be shared with you and will be available to your care team in your medical record, the other results will not be shared with you because they are for research only and we are still learning what they may mean. Your information that includes your identity may be seen by our study team for an indefinite period of time. Blood will be stored forever without anyone being able to tell it is yours. We will not use your name when we analyze your data. 
Instead, we will assign you and your biological samples unique research codes to protect your identity before they are used here at Pitt or shared with others. The research data will be maintained for at least seven years following closure of this research study. We may also collect information from your chart, such as your age, to confirm you are able to join the study. We may also collect information such as why you are immunocompromised, as that will help us understand what your antibody results mean. As with any research study, there may be undesirable events or side effects that, that are currently unknown. And it is possible that some of these unknown risks could be permanent, serious, or life-threatening. That said, this study is considered low risk because we are only collecting small amounts of blood. The risks to having your blood drawn for the study are the same as when your blood is drawn for many other reasons. To minimize these risks, all procedures will be conducted by a certified medical professional. Study staff will monitor you closely throughout the study for any side effects. You should report any issues to the study staff immediately. You will not be charged for participating in the study, and you will not be responsible for any out-of-pocket expenses from the study. Emergency medical treatment for injuries solely and directly related to your participation in the study will be provided to you by UPMC and, and may be billed to your insurance provider, but you will not be responsible for uncovered expenses. You will be responsible for costs of follow-up care. You do not waive any legal rights by agreeing to participate in the study and by signing this form. You will not retain any property rights, nor will you share in any money that the investigator, the University of Pittsburgh, or their agents may gain through any discoveries or treatments of commercial value created using your samples. If you have questions or concerns about this study, please contact the principal investigator, me, Dr. Haidar, or the research coordinator at the phone numbers listed on the first page of the paper informed consent you will be given. If you believe the research procedures have caused you injury, immediately contact me, the principal investigator of the study, at 833-475-8215 or email askcovix at upmc.edu. If you have questions about your rights as a study subject, please contact the Human Subject Protection Advocate at 1-866-212-2668. Like we mentioned before, since your participation in this research study is voluntary, you may withdraw at any time. To withdraw from the study, you will need to provide a written, dated letter as described in the consent form. Please send the letter to the address shown on the screen. If you decide not to participate in the study, or if you stop participating in the study, that is totally fine. You will not be penalized or lose any benefits. Thank you for listening.